hello and welcome to video number five I was gonna say four we did four last time this is video number five um, know your exam dates do you know that some students here yeah, they'll be preparing for GCSEs and then you say to them and um, when are you actually starting your exam they go um, um, ah, that's not good you need to know your exam date you need to write it down and know the day because this would help you in preparing your timetable which is going to be on my next video i'm going to give you tips on how to effectively prepare your timetable i've prepared a little uh part point that i'm going to insert in that video so that you actually have the steps i've put together 10 short steps for you to follow to create an effective timetable i'm not talking about it on this video but i want you to look forward to it i'm just talking about the exam dates your exams can span over six weeks you know so you just find out what date your exam is going to start what day you have which paper because this will enable you plan your actual exam timetable because you should have a revision timetable which you need to tweak nearer your exam date tweak it to then increase more time for the subjects that you still need to work on i don't want to talk too much about the timetable i'm so excited that's the next video i'm gonna do for six the six videos so you need to know your exam dates you know that when before you actually write the exam the date your results are going to be released in the month of august for GCSEs in england you actually know the date so you need to know when your exam starts and then it would help you to prepare to focus i know some students start panicking when they do countdown and by the way there are so many places online where they do the countdown to the first paper so you want to do that and don't forget that there are some exams you actually take way before the main exam starts like food tech business and some other exams i think pp B tech or something like that there are a few exams that you get done before that may when you start to do all the papers and you can do like two papers in a day please know the exam dates and pull out your own timetable you're giving your timetable or fit it into your revision timetable we'll talk about we'll talk more about revision timetable on the next video so see you again soon